recently won the new egg shuffle for a 3080 Ti. Let's, uh, let's open it up. Here it is. Brand new. Straight from new egg. I'm going to try to do the rest one handed. Let's see how it goes. So here is the support bar. And here is the card. Look at this. This, this thing's huge. And it's got three eight pins in there. So we're going to put that into my pre-built I have here, which is currently running a 3080 uh, EPGA card right now. Alright, I got in. I'm using a uh, one 8-pin daisy chain and another 8-pin single right to the middle. I didn't put the support uh, the support brackets on because I'm not going to have this in here for too long. There we go. Just started it up. It's looking pretty good. I'm going to be using Windows and NiceHash Quick QuickMiner uh, for this. All right, I had it running for a little bit already. Um, when I first started this up on stock settings, it was at 90 mega hash, and now I adjusted the the core clock and memory clock um, to the following: 200, negative 200 uh, plus a thousand, and right now we're getting about 62 mega hash, and the memory junction is about 74 degrees right now, uh, averaging about 77. There isn't any thermal throttling at this point. But this is only a few minutes in. Uh, I, I don't think there's going to be any thermal throttling on this device because it's not hitting, you know, the the real mega hash on this. So in terms of keeping the card, I don't think so. I'm probably going to be looking around to trade this for a 3080. Um, so we'll see how that goes. All right, guys, thanks for watching.